All right, so this is the first weekend I've had to really come out and work on the Lancer. In this video, we're gonna be positioning the main spar and then gluing it in just to kind of hold it in place. All the structural layups will happen later, but until we have everything in the belly of the plane positioned and can get it flipped over, it's just gonna be placeholder. So anyway, uh, enjoy the next seven minutes of me struggling through trying to get this position properly. Let's get after it. So we're working on joining the main spar to the fuselage right now. Um, <clears throat> so that involves a couple of dimensional requirements. Uh, the front of the spar has to be 27 and three quarters inches from the back of the firewall. Uh, and that's been marked right here by the previous owner. So at least I know I'm on the right path for the most part. And then what we're gonna do to make sure everything's squared up once it's done is we'll measure from the tip of the spar back to the, a point on the tail, and then same thing over there, and that'll make a big triangle, and we can just line it up so that those two distances are the same. But what I'm doing right now is, <clears throat> he got started on these, and these are just uh, high-density foam blocks. There's three that are an inch thick each. Um, and these are going to kind of fill this fillet right here. So they're going to pop underneath here and space this spar up so that the spar is sitting basically on the belly of the plane. And they give a dimension in the book that's 5 sixteenths of an inch. I went a little farther than that. I went to one inch. And they said that that dimension is not super critical, but the higher you go, the more headroom you're going to have in the plane. And I'm not very tall, but as I understand, these planes are pretty tight. So I'm gonna push it just a little bit. Now this also means that we're gonna to have to push the back spar up a little bit, and that's gonna basically move the wings down compared to the rest of the plane. And then there's gonna be you know a little more filling, but I don't think that's extreme enough to where it matters. It, it actually tells you in the book that you can do it. So uh, I marked out these at the same distance, both the left and right, and we're gonna go cut these up and see how it fits. Down up a bit, measure it to the firewall. Showing 27. In this corner. All right, so now the spar we measured from the corner here and the corner back there. So the spar is angled and squared up to the rest of the airframe, and it's pretty much exactly 27 and three quarters of an inch from the firewall. So that spacing is good so that the wings aren't forward or aft and doesn't change our CG too much. So the very next step now is to grab my digital level. Since we know the airframe is leveled, I'm gonna go ahead and level the spar up off of the front side here and try not to disturb what's down here. So we're gonna try and bump it only from the top because this dimension does not matter. It's down here that we're looking at and then the angle. All right, so check this out. I lied a little bit earlier. It's not perfectly level. Um, showing about, right about one degree with the down arrow. And if we come over here, I've adjusted the spar. So if we pop this on there, one degree. So the spar is now angled compared to the Longerons, that is squared up within about a tenth of a degree. All right, so hopefully you can forgive me for this one since it's toasty out, but uh, I kind of screwed up. So I spent all that work making sure the spar was perfectly level and perfectly in place, and I forgot to check its alignment side to side. Um, so it's perfectly squared up, you know, maybe down to probably about, I'd honestly argue probably about a 32nd of an inch, and it's aligned within a, a tenth of a degree this way. And now I notice that, if you take a peek over here, uh, we're not centered. So I see about 26 and 7 eighths over here on this corner. And if we go to the other side, eh, 27 and a quarter. So maybe I should have done this in a different order, but either way, I've got to nudge the spar to uh, that direction real quick here. All right, so I got the spar back in place. Everything squared up as it should be. I did have to move it a little bit. I double checked all the measurements left and right with the bottom of the fuselage, as well as to the longerons, as well as to here to here, and, and double checked everything centered up. 
Um, I also decided to check the height of that. So I had to adjust the top of the lingeron to the top of the spar cap here just a little bit. I had to trim this block because it was off by, it wasn't much, but it was maybe about a, a eighth of an inch or so, which would have translated to something on the wingtip. So this is all pretty well squared up at this point. Now what we got to do is trim this up. I kind of drew a line and started cutting, but they want this cut about halfway through the spar cap. And then I've got some pieces of foam in here that are going to get trimmed just to kind of fill this gap up right here. And then when the belly pan lays on, the belly pan will sit at about this halfway point and sit on top of that foam. But after that's done, what we can do is we can mix up some uh, block and epoxy these all in uh, and then epoxy this top piece in where all this foam is going to go. So I'll get this all cut out, I'll get it all lined up, and then I guess we're going to be ready to lay our first bit of epoxy. All right, it's getting a little bit late, so I'm going to glue this up and that's going to be it for tonight. But I got my little uh, uh, foam shims cut. They're not perfect. Um, but the flock will fill that in. So we're just gonna get these uh, coated in some flock, push them in there. You know, obviously leave a little bit overlap for the belly pan and then get these flocked in as well. And then this can sit and cure overnight. It's probably gonna be more than that, but I'll definitely be back tomorrow uh, to start laying out the aft spar, I think is actually the next step. All right, so I got this mostly glued up. Uh, I think I did a pretty terrible job. Uh, go easy on me, it's my first time, but as I understand it, um, the flock cotton, the, the flock mixture is basically just to kind of hold things in place and we're putting these pieces of foam in as spacers, but most of this is just to secure these as spacers. And then everything that's happening structurally, there's a huge layup that happens inside of here. That's like 12 layers um, to distribute the force from the spar down into the fuselage. And there's a lot more that's gonna happen in here. So as it sits, I'm okay with it. I think I basically just screwed myself because I'm gonna have a ton of sanding to do because I used way too much epoxy. Um, you can see it dripping over there. But other than that, I mean, it's gonna be solid. It's gonna hold the spar in place while we do the rest of the work over here. So I'm not having to use a bunch of clamps and kind of get this area already. I'm gonna slap some peel ply on this, especially right here, because this is where the belly pan's gonna connect and I, you know, I don't wanna have to sand. I, I wanna help myself as much as possible. But anyway, I'm gonna slap this on there, let this sit, and this is gonna be all for tonight.